Hey, what's going on? It's DJ. Welcome to Comstan Farm, episode number nine. Winter is here, and today we're going to be purchasing a new area near the sheep to store our grass bales in, as those have started to rot in the snow. That's not good. We're also going to be repairing everything, as I haven't repaired anything since we started this series and if you never repair your equipment or you just want to see more farms of 22 in general make sure you're subscribed that way you never miss any future content here on the channel let's start off today by talking about some changes that i've made to the animals since we last recorded for me at least personally in real life it's been almost a week since i recorded the last video on here and since then i have been able to make some changes to the files mainly the amount of animals that I could hold. I could now do 250 of each. It's actually super simple. All you gotta do is open up the placeables in Comsden and do it that way. Super simple. I've also increased the amount of food that they could have up to, I think it was 500,000 liters for the cows and the sheep can hold 100,000 liters, as you can see there. Well, those grass bells are melting quickly in the snow, so we gotta get rid of that. So that's one thing that I have done to change things up. It makes it a lot easier for me. I can feed them and it lasts a whole lot longer than it normally would. Plus down at the bottom right hand corner, you can see today I didn't have to feed them. Well, you can't see that. I thought that, that was really nice. So yeah. Big changes for me, at least, on the map. And these are changes that you guys can make as well in the XML. You don't need Giants Editor anymore to change the amount of animals that you can have in a certain pen. All you gotta do is just change the number. Maybe eventually I'll try and figure out, can we do 500 animals? A thousand animals? <laughs> oh, that would be a whole lot. What's also a whole lot is the amount of wool that we've got. This is the wool from... Well, yesterday in game. <laughs> and there's the wool that we've got today in game. I gotta turn on the help window because I don't remember what to hit here. We've downloaded a new auto loading button since this happened. So let's let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, forgot to check this. Tip side. Yep, that's good. Control. That's all good. Unfold trailer. Nope, don't want to do that. Um. Interesting. So, I'm having a hard time figuring out exactly how to do this. Uh, so I've downloaded this new mod that's supposed to make auto loading a little bit easier because we've gotten some new stuff for that. Over here, if we go take a look, auto load stock trailers. These require this mod, but not the old ones. So I'm gonna have to back out and delete that real quick because it seems to have made what I need disappear. Huh, well that stinks. Well, now I'm starting to think that that wasn't the problem at all. Uh, so my loading is back. So maybe it was just because I left this. Hello, you're welcome. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, I think it was because I left everything loaded on here. Sometimes auto load trailers can be a little bit interesting is the word that I would use. Let's cover over here and let's see if we're able to pick these up now. Another thing we need to do is find somewhere to put all these. Oh, and there's more. Hi. I don't know what to do with all this. <laughs> Not in the least bit. We've got a bunch of wool right here and it's just kind of hanging out. We could build a spinnery, but I'm not ready to do that yet. But that's probably what we're gonna have to do. So we may as well go ahead and start thinking on it. Also, uh, I'm having a great time driving in the snow right now. Uh, I have no grip. <laughs> it's just spinning forwards. I love the snow, but man, sometimes it is not fun to drive in the snow. Uh, let's go ahead and take this stuff and let's unload everything to the right. Perfect. Now, let's buy a new area. Actually, I don't know if it's an area that we need to buy or not. It's this little area right here. Okay, so 6,100 bucks, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and buy that, there we go. We need to load up some bells because these bells are starting to rot. We take a look here, 6,500 liters, 1,575, 15,499, 65, 65. Some of these are higher and some of these are lower for whatever reason, and I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I don't want to leave them around to find out. So I'm going to load up these onto our trailer right here. 
And I'm gonna show you guys how to make some stuff disappear. Here we go. Check this out. So let's go and open up. We've got some really interesting uh, dirt and mud here. Of course, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't lock you down or anything like that, but it is pretty sweet to see that. So we've got all this. Well, what do we do here? We're gonna go into build mode. We're gonna go to demolish. And it says, do you wanna remove the junk of the barge? Yes, I do. Okay. So now we have full access to these. Also, you can't even walk in here if you don't remove the junk. It just stays there. So that's kind of right, neat. Not neat. I'm not sure. One or the other way. I'm not. All, I don't know. All right. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to get these bells in here without causing too many problems. I think what I'm going to try and do is get them. Oh, that's going to hit, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Good enough for me. We'll get it to about right here, and then I'm gonna unload them as far to the right as I possibly can. Boom, just like so. Now I gotta back this thing out of there, and we've got a mod for this as well, but I don't know if it works for this trailer or not. Yes, it does, all right. No, it does not, crap. Don't mind, oh boy, don't mind me. I'm just trying to get this trailer out of here. Come on. Now that that's over with, we've got some happy sheep and everybody is good. We've still got their wool over there. We've still got the wool trailer, the pallet auto loading trailer over there. But here is our grass. Hopefully, and we don't lose anymore. Now, a lot of this is still good at 6,500 liters. But some of it, as you can see, like 15, nine. This one's at 357. So there's, there's a few problems with these bells. Anyway, let's go ahead and close that up. We'll go ahead and close this gate up right here. And that is it for today. Ah, you think I'm... <laughs> Get out of here. We're going to spend a bunch of money. Not the way you think we are, though. I need to fix everything. Some things need to be repainted. I'm not repainting them. But I will fix it. So, let's go in here. Ooh. <laughs> you laggy right there. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go ahead and fix this up. So repair costs are going to be $3,100. And it's just going to go from there. $12,000 for that. What's the weight need? 38. Not terrible, not terrible. How about this weight? 23. Okay, okay, okay. How about this tractor? Do I want to know? $7,600. Really kind of money. And of course, we're going to hit everything else as well. Now, I'm using a mobile workshop trigger kind of thing. Um, it's not the toolbox mod, though. You should definitely go get that for sure. Uh, let's see. We got that. I think we got some more stuff around here around the corner. So we're already spending way more than I thought. I thought like total, this might be like 20 grand. I think we've already spent, what, 25, $30,000 on stuff. Ridiculous. Over here. Uh, about 500 bucks for the header. That's not awful, but the planter is going to be bad. 1300 Yeah, it's... See, it's just not great. <laughs> it stinks a lot. 11 bucks. Okay, okay, okay. 65 That's a lot more than 11 <laughs> Actually, since we're all done with that, let's go through here. Here's a door that not many people know is there. And bloop, it's right there. That's pretty sweet. I bet these are going to have to take a little bit of cash, huh? 53? Okay, not bad. Well, we hadn't had that long. Anyway, in 185. Not terrible. All right. So that's everything on this farm. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, we got bail or, uh, mowers as well. I'm going to go ahead and head to the other farm and we'll get everything repaired up. And then you guys can see how much money I've spent. Oi, we're already in the 200 grand. I'm going to have to sell my house for this. Repairs are done at least on this farm and it wasn't too bad. What have we spent? Another couple hundred bucks, something like that. It was not terrible. Now everything is fixed. It's not painted, but it's at least fixed. But there's one of who laggy again. That's OBS, not the game. I just don't know why it does that. Anybody know what? Is anybody an OBS wizard? Love to pick your brain. Oh yeah, let's go pick up and figure out what's going in the factories. That's going to bring us all the way down here near the BG-8. And as you can see, we have... Why did I appear there? Uh, we've got... Is that flour? This is... Flour! Yes! Um... Hang on. Let's just... Let's go ahead and push all this in. So it looks like... It, so this is working, right? Obviously this is working. However, 
It's only working for one pallet spot, and that's it. Everything else, no, 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 no. However, the bread is working, so that's good. And this shows me one thing, that this works. This works really, really well. We'll take a look at them in the Paul's menu because this is the best place to take a look at all of your factories and what you got going on. Now, we own the BGA, but we're not using it currently. I'm um, taking a look at all of our different flowers. Of course, you can see we've got plenty, 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 plenty of everything. As a matter of fact, I'm upset with myself that I planted barley. I should have planted wheat. All the fields. Now down here to bread. You can see we've got bread that is uh, storing right now. Flour is going in. A bunch of flour actually has gone in, but <laughs> that's all we've got to show for it. Maybe one day we'll get a little bit more than that. Nonetheless, this is working good. And at least I'll know in the mornings, I'll have to come in here and push that back in. Speaking of mornings, we're kind of done for the day. Uh, I will double check and see, do we have anything in here that I want? I think this would be the only thing, but I just don't care. <laughs> I'm looking for like an actual small tractor versus something itty bitty tiny like that. So. Nothing there, unfortunately, but everything is looking good. If we take a look at our growth real quick, if you guys want to see kind of how everything is rocking, we'll go ahead and turn grass on. So everything's looking good so far. Take a look at growth. Our grass is growing very well, so that makes me happy, and everything else is growing uh, pretty standardly. Uh, it does look like 15, 4, and 31 are ready to be harvested. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Is this ready for harvest? No way. Yeah, I, th I think there's a little bit more to go here. And it's still trying to tell me that this is ready. <laughs> False. Uh, by the way, we're in February now. Looking good, looking good. We'll say grass looking fresh. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to come over here and push these things together so that at least everything's going into the bakery. Oh. Hey, we actually get to watch it happening. Check that out. Oh, I wonder if two more are going to plop down. Do it, do it, do it. Plop, 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 plop. Oh, of course when I look away. Get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, everything is looking good. Looking good indeed. I'm going to go ahead and push all of this together and see if we can uh, make flower. Yes. Flower simulator. Welcome, everybody. Uh, oh, there's going to be a whole lot of this, isn't there? Oh, boy. All right, I think we're safe. Unfortunately, the bakery itself isn't safe. Not at all. Because the bakery's full. We're absolutely full with this. One thing we could do... We could build another one. Uh, we might, we might have to do that eventually. Take a look. Flour, completely full. Uh, we're nowhere close to being empty with all this. I mean, this is going to make a bunch of flour. So I think what we might need to do is get another bakery. I don't want to. I'm sure you guys know that. You probably know for, for a fact. I don't want to get another bakery. We do this bad enough as it is. Let's, you know, let's take a look though. I don't want to be rude or anything. Let's, let's just take a look and see kind of how, you know, the bakery you, you guys are familiar with the bakery. Yeah, you, you know the bakery. The muffin man? Nah, the bakery. All right, so about right here, possibly, if we want to get these lined up together, we could also, and, and this would make things a little bit easier for me down the road, possibly, is maybe put this here, and that would definitely pick up some of the, the stuff in here. The only problem with doing it this way is I'm still going to have to get around to the backside to get the pallets. Now I could kick those out to the side and be okay. And I think that's what I may end up doing. I think doing it this way, at least for the time being, is gonna be helpful rather than hurtful. So let's do it like that. The price isn't awful. It's only $50,000, so it could be worse. We'll double check all the sides, make sure we're good to go. And about right in here, I think is the, the best place. We got, we got. Place it down. All right, so there goes some of my money. I'm going to go in here to landscaping. We'll just kind of make all this look nice and neat, and I'll get back with you. Ta-da! 
Now all we got to do in is activate. So let's make some more bread. It's going to take us about another day or so. And I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff out. Yes. Oh, yeah. These are going to be like a year before we sell these. Oof. One thing I almost forgot. We, we got to go get all the wool. My bad. All right. So we're good there. Spin my head back around the right way. Um, one thing a lot of people have complained about is sheep and animals yelling at them. Now, I don't know why, but I don't think the sheep on this map make noise. Could be wrong, but I'm in the cabin, and I'm not getting any loud nothings from the animals. So I think everything's okay, at least with these guys. Uh, yeah, I exited the game and came back in, and it was like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, you didn't get any of the wool, so I'm not going to place any more down. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> like it was doing me a favor. <laughs> All right, so there's that. I'll just kind of keep... Oh, boy. I'll keep this by because this is the last thing that I need to do today. So we'll just do the exact same thing tomorrow morning in this exact order. Now, the great thing is the next day in-game is spring. Yes, if you said it out loud with me. So I'm really excited because that means I get to, uh, let's, let's find out. How? Is it because it's spring? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to refill these guys, like, all the time now. Oh, boy, that's not gonna be fun at all. You know what? Whatever. We're, we're getting the wool. I'm happy with it. I guess what I'm gonna have to do is just, instead of sleeping from, like, early morning till the morning the next day, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just come in and fast forward time during the day, pick the wool up before bed, and then do it again. So now we are in spring, and there's a lot to do today. We've got mowing that's gonna have to be done, which is great. It's gonna be our first mowing of year number two. We get to do the big uh, the big field as well. All right, please uh, unload. Good chunk, nice. Let's go ahead and drop that right where that lays. Uh, let's double check over here real quick and see how everything's going over there. Yep, just as I figured. Let's go and push. Oh boy. Let's go and push everything. Please, st st I don't want to ride it. It's just go forward. We got to fill this thing up as best we can, and there's going to be a lot here. I think I may have accidentally fast forwarded a couple extra days in game. My bad without even thinking. So nice and easy. Go forward just a little bit. We'll do this. I'm going to do this for probably you know, two or three minutes. Wish me luck. Well, that didn't last long. So now that's all done at least. We've got one thing of bread right here and I got an idea. Yeah, let's get about right here to go. Well, nope, that didn't work. Yeah. Crap, <laughs> it's on the roof. Um, I'm going to have to get that down. Hang on, this is the only way that I know how to get up here. We'll do that and then fall back to the ground and then push it off. <laughs> Of course it did that. Of course it did. All right. So what should probably not do is show off again. Might be best for everybody. Yeah. While we're getting everything prepared for spring, it might be a good idea to go ahead and feed the cows since I haven't done that in a minute. I think since December. It's March. It's currently March right now. We need to give the cows some food. I know that they've still got plenty, but hey, we might as well feed them while we're at it. We'll go ahead and take a look and see what they've got. Um, coming over here, we'll go down to cattle and they are telling me that they've still got about 200,000 liters of TMR and about 113,000 liters of straw. Now slurry and milk, we're doing pretty good on those right now. So slurry, we're at 143,000 liters. We need to get that out of there because that's a lot. And it's milk, 66,000 liters. That's a lot as well. By the way, I increased the capacity for milk and slurry. That's why so much looks like so little. It's a, it, it, it's going to mess with your head a little bit. So I need to figure out milk and slurry. When's the best price to sell those? Because slurry, we could probably sell that pretty soon. Itch. Where's milk? Here it is. When's the best time to sell milk? September and January. Of course it is. Well, it looks like we're waiting a lot longer to sell milk because milk is terrible right now. Um, how's about uh, the other thing I said? What was the other thing I said? Slurry. Here we go. December. Of course it is. 
All right, well, we're just going to leave those sitting. Lastly, we'll go ahead and give them a little bit of good, good stuff to last them a little while. You can see, early morning cows are very, very hungry. We'll open this up. This uh, Keenan Mech Fiber, this is a 4D modding mod. It's not out yet, at least at the time of recording, nor is the update to the map. So if you're watching this right now, I'm still not playing with the update to the map. Actually, this recording's, I think, done two days before this video comes out, something like that. Nonetheless... All right, so there's the cows. We'll just double check and make sure that the food is up. Yep, yeah, food is up. We're good to go there. Uh, we could give them some straw, but we probably don't need to. But everything else looks good. Uh, how are our sheep doing? Sheep are doing fine. I don't need to do anything with them at all. And I'm super glad because I don't want to get the telehandler out and feed them. Something else I don't want to do is in this video. But unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And... We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We're gonna be mowing a bunch of big fields. We've got, a, what, like three, four, five grass fields, something like that. Quite a few grass fields. Plus, here in about a month or two, we're gonna be ready to go with our first harvest of year number two. So I'm super excited about that. If you are as well, drop a like, hit subscribe, join the Go Fam notifications. Turn them on, turn them on, turn them on, turn them on, turn them on. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.